Hello! Today I am going to go through a crochet finish that I just finished for my daughter. Uh, I wonder what it will be. I guess you'll have to find out after the intro. Join me, won't you? <laughs> ago. This bedspread actually took me, uh, I started I think 2015-ish and been working on and off, mostly off, <laughs> for this one uh, all this time. Um, it seems to be the project that I come back to when I can't think of anything else to do. So. I finally decided this year, at the beginning of the year, that I was going to finish some of these projects that I've been sitting around. I remember, uh, you might remember me um, telling you about that carp, the string carpet. Um, I'm working on that as well. That's one of the big ones that I want to get done. Anyway, so this is my daughter's strawberry bedspread. I put the strawberries on last so it looked a little bit like a Christmas bread spread until then um but her room is strawberry themed and I'm going to go um film a little bit of her room so you can see how it matches I didn't want to put it on her bed um to show you because she has a princess um canopy on her bed that has the gauze that flows down so it's really hard to film in there um, to see anything really clearly but I will go in there just so that you can see her strawberry themed room and uh, then we'll come back here and I'll give you a little bit more details. Okay so we're going to go into my daughter's room so you can see where she puts her blanket there very cute on her bed. She's young, so of course she has a princess uh, a room here. I don't know if the if you can see it with all that uh, sun shining in here, but I basically wanted to show you her curtains. Oh my gosh, you can't see them very well because of this light. Maybe if I back up, <laughs> they have strawberries on them. Let's go see him over here. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you can see them better. Strawberry curtains. So they match. See, over here. And then uh, she has strawberry accents on her dresser here, too. And her dresser was just a, her change table when she was a baby that I've converted into her dresser with the baskets there so that's why I wanted to show you how it all ties together in her room anyway I better leave before she gets mad at me for showing off her room doesn't it look fabulous in her room it matches so nicely I love it so I'll give you a little bit of details about this pattern as we kind of uh, explore it a little bit more. This pattern is just a classic chevron pattern. I will link a basic pattern um, in the description below. I just did the color changes uh, uh, slightly different and I did it lengthwise instead. So I actually built it up this way but then it's for it, it it lays this way so it's it's kind of uh confusing but anyway i did the chain count according to how it would look across her bed um instead of the other way around anyway so i ended up with 15 in the big chunks five rows of the color changes and you'll notice because i've done this for i was working on this for about three years that some of the colors don't quite match up um this red is a little bit brighter than this red but this side hangs down the side anyway um on the back of her bed so you won't see that it doesn't quite match 
Um, and then I did the strawberries according to a pattern that was um, a dishcloth pattern, actually. So I made, I believe, 15 of them. And there's five along the bottom, in the middle, and then along the other side bottom. And uh, they're really easy to make. Um, and they follow the same kind of granny square pattern that the bedspread itself does. So, um, if you have any questions, I don't know. I don't have too many details. It's funny because I've worked on this for three years, but um, trying to tell the details about it is really difficult. So if I've missed anything, let me know in the comments and I will try to answer any questions you may have. Oh, the border, right. I just did the border in green. Just a simple, um, I think it's just an SC around. Uh, just to tidy it up a bit. I didn't do too much else for the border. Um, yeah, so uh, like for new bedspreads, new strawberry bedspreads, it's perfect for spring. Um, comment below. How about, uh, do you, I'd like to know this, do you switch your uh, decor according to the season? Like, I think this one is very springish. And then I guess it can pass for Christmas too because it's got Christmas colors on it, but it's not like the strawberries aren't very Christmassy. But do you do that? Do you have separate decor for each season? Um, also, uh, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.